welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey and for today's video we are going to be talking about 15 things that I no longer buy. Now not only does this save us a ton of money but it also is just a benefit for myself and our family as a whole. So let's just go ahead and get right into the video. So the first thing I no longer buy is I don't buy any more hair care products. And that is dry shampoo. I don't buy any um, like leave-in conditioners. I don't buy hairspray. Um, I don't buy a detangler for my kids. I don't buy anything of that sort. Honestly, the one thing that I just do use is I add a little bit of coconut oil to my hair after I um, wash my hair and then that kind of helps just comb it through. I do only use like the smallest bit and I just put it like at the back of my hair and like at the ends, um, especially since I have like more blonde in my hair it's more prone to just be a little more drying. So coconut oil helps a lot. I could go on a whole video about coconut oil, but that's honestly what I use in my hair and in my girl's hair. A little bit goes a long way. And I just learned that a lot of the hair care products like hairspray and dry shampoo, um, one, they're in aerosol cans, which is really not good um, for the environment and it's just not good for your hair in general. There's just a lot of chemicals in there and fragrances and things like that that I just try to stay away from and I just took them all out of the house and I haven't bought any since. So the next thing I no longer buy is shaving cream. I stopped buying shaving cream a couple months ago, maybe even longer than that. I did use shaving cream because I do have sensitive skin when it comes to shaving. And I just found that using a good body wash has helped when it comes to shaving even my armpits, my legs. Um, I just don't think it's necessary and it is, again, in an aerosol can and there's just lots of fragrances and chemicals that I don't want to have. And um, as my girls get older, I wanna encourage them to do the same and just not try to um, buy those things because it really isn't necessary. So another thing I do not purchase anymore is I do not buy hand soaps. I don't buy any lotions or anything like that. I will not go into Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret and buy hand soaps or lotions or body sprays, anything like that. What I use instead is I just buy a big bottle of Dr. Bronner's Castile soap and whatever scent I'm liking at that season. And I will just fill a little capful of that and then just dilute it with water instead for hand soap. And I also use that for dish soap. So I haven't bought dish soap in like a long time. And I feel like that saves us a lot of money, even though like a big bottle of Dr. Bronner's is about $13. It lasts us a very, very, very long time because I'm only using a little bit of it and then just diluting the rest of it with water. I find no need to buy hand soaps. I just reuse the hand soap bottle. I have some foam ones. I have some old dial hand bottles that I just rinse really good and I just use that instead. It is a little like watery, but after you just like rub your hands together, it foams up really nicely and I love using that instead. So kind of along with that is candles. I do not buy candles anymore. If I did, I would buy something that is like ethically made. I do not go to Bath and Body Works or TJ Maxx or Home Goods or anything like that and buy candles. Although I am really into candles and with fall coming, I definitely want to fill my house with like good scents, but instead I'll just use essential oils or um, a good ethically made candle where I'm not just filling the house with, with really bad chemicals and bad fragrances. And um, it's just, candles are very expensive too. So I think it's just more money saving and more financially smart that will last longer and will save you a lot of money in the long run. Another thing I no longer purchase are cleaning products. Specifically, I do not buy bleach. I don't buy any 401 or Dawn dish soap. Maybe Dawn dish soap if it's like necessary, but again, there's so many other natural cleaners instead of Dawn to do anything with that. For my cleaners, I only use Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap, Hydrogen Peroxide, 
and vinegar. And that is pretty much the main um, spread. Oh, and baking soda. That is pretty much the main spread of my cleaning products. It makes my heart feel a little safer knowing that if they open the sink, the, the cabinet under the sink that they're gonna get into something bad. I don't have to really worry about that. This is another thing that I do no longer purchase and I figured this out um, when my husband had his first Air Force ball last year. Last year I rented a dress from rentthe-runway.com. That was an amazing website. I will recommend it. I haven't tried any other websites. That's pretty much the first one that I tried and it was awesome. It was really cool because I got to um, rent two dresses and if I didn't like one, then I had the second option to go for. Thankfully, one of the, the first option that I chose was perfect. Um, for the occasion, the other one didn't fit. Plus, I'm very short, so I was really worried about that. But it really worked, and I only paid, I think about $70 for two dresses. And I was able to rent them for maybe about a week. And I just had to put the dresses back into the bag that it came in and ship it off. So it was very easy, it was very inexpensive, and I'm not cluttering a bunch of formal dresses um, that I'm really only gonna wear once. It's definitely a great way to just save more money and not have to go out when you can just simply rent something and then return it a few days later. This is something I haven't bought in a long time. Now, besides Netflix and Hulu, we do not purchase any subscriptions. I don't, I don't subscribe to Audible. I don't subscribe to food subscriptions like HelloFresh. I don't subscribe to magazines. I don't subscribe to anything other than Netflix and Hulu. That's our only form of like TV. We just don't see the purpose or the meaning behind having any subscriptions. I have thought about it. We don't even have Amazon Prime. Um, we have toyed with that um, option for a long time, but still it just doesn't serve us um, the way we need it. We, we wouldn't use any of those things regularly enough to make it work. Honestly, it would just be wasting money. Um, and we are trying to pay off debt, so some things just have to be pushed to the side or just not even um, thought of or purchased until we really thought about that and see if it works for our wallet and our lifestyle. Um, but yeah, other than that, we don't have any sort of subscriptions. Another thing I do not purchase is we do not buy any cookbooks or books. Um, now we do have some books in our house, I would probably say, besides the kids' books, um, our books, we probably have maybe less than 10 books. Um, again, with even my kids' books, I don't hardly buy any books. If I do, I will go to the thrift store and buy them, or we'll just go to the library. Um, I think that is more better anyway because it's an experience for the girls. It's something that they're always going to remember. Um, there are so many resources at the library and it's free. So it's really a no-brainer. And honestly, we listen to books on audio. We listen to audiobooks. I have a free library app that we use on our phone um, and we just type in the library card and we have pretty much any book um, from the library online that we can listen to. Um, so if you guys want more information on that, I do have a couple apps that I can share with you. But yeah, for audiobooks, we don't, like I said, we don't have Audible or anything like that. We don't purchase any books. Most of the time, we just use audiobooks at the thrift store. We'll go to the library. So another thing I do not purchase is I don't buy any makeup remover, wipes, or cotton pads. I have reusable 100% um, cotton pads that I use to take my makeup off, to use um, for anything. I just use that instead of buying wipes that they're just going to be tossed in the trash after one use. Um, again, it's really bad for the environment. Wipes are really expensive after, you know, you keep having to repurchase them. These cotton pads, I do not have to repurchase them. I think I had a pack of 16 and it comes in a cute little a cute little bag that I can just toss all the um, pads in and put them in the wash and then they're good to go. 
um, for our next use. I think that is so awesome and it's just more ethically sustainable to use things like that that you can reuse and you don't have to just throw away after one use. Something that you can put in the wash is just so much more beneficial. So we no longer buy plastic water bottles. If we do, it's on a rare occasion or an emergency situation, but most of the time we just have water bottles that we fill up constantly and use those instead. My husband is always good about this where he has his water bottle and he'll fill it up and the girls and I will just sip out of it. Like if we take a trip somewhere that's far away, we'll just use that and kind of drink out of it. Um, or we'll pack our own water bottles. We all have our own water bottles that we refill. It's so much more easy to do that instead of having to stop and go to the gas station to um, get water. And it's, again, I'm sorry to keep repeating myself, but it is so bad for the environment. I saw this fact sometime somewhere, maybe on the internet, that it takes a thousand years for a single plastic water bottle to decompose. And 80% of plastic water bottles end up in the landfill. That is pretty shocking, honestly. I hope that um, shocks you a little bit if you do use plastic water bottles. Oh, also, there's a documentary on Netflix with Zac Efron, and there's an episode where they go to London, and they, um, in London, they have filtered water fountains all over the city of London, and people have free ultimate access to get water. And I think that was so amazing and eye-opening to see um, how water plays such an important role in London. And I think that would be amazing for the US to do. Um, that was a really, really cool episode to watch. So I recommend watching that too. So the next thing I do not purchase or no longer buy are knickknacks. Um, I used to be a knickknack lover. I would have random things all over the house. Just after being more minimalist, having less clutter just is more freeing to me. I have gotten rid of a lot of my knickknacks. I do maybe have like a few knickknacks, but um, I, I really don't purchase any knickknacks anymore. The most things I buy are baskets and plants and that's pretty much it. I've really taken a hobby to shopping at the thrift store and um, not buying into fast fashion and things like that. Another thing that no one will see in the house that we we purchase is extra bedding. Um, I don't have like I don't have a bunch of seasonal throw pillows. I don't have a bunch of comforters lying around. I don't have excess like amounts of sheet um, for decorations. I I think these are the only throw pillows I own. That's it. So I just, I'm a big space person. And when I think about something that I'm only going to use for a season or this specific time or just for decoration and it's only going to just sit there, I really am very cautious about purchasing it. So um, yeah, I, I just don't buy any, any extra um, like comforters or pillows. So these next two things kind of go hand in hand, which I'm just gonna go ahead and combine them, is pop and anything with like high fructose corn syrup or sugar, like sugary drinks, anything like that. We do not purchase pop. I do not purchase like fruit snacks, ketchup or jelly or anything like that that you wouldn't think has high fructose corn syrup. A lot of times it does. So it's really taught me to just look at the back of the ingredients um, of everything I buy and just be really cautious about that. The pop is so expensive and I um, don't encourage my kids to drink pop. We do have lemonade sometimes for the girls and we always get sugar-free lemonade or we do get orange juice sometimes but we really limit those things like really limit them and we just encourage to drink water. It's better off that it's just not in the house at all. So the last thing that I'm going to talk about that we do not purchase is we don't buy anything that's on sale or any like promotional products on Amazon or TV or anything like that. We do not buy anything on sale. Um, a lot of times, um, if I do want something, either I'll save the money up for it and if it is on sale, great. But if it's not, I will pay full price for something if I need it. I won't go out and just buy something just because it's on sale. Some people say, oh, I spent um, $400 and I saved $1,200. Well, to me, it, it doesn't really matter because 
at the end of the day, you still ended up with $400 less in your bank account for something that you may never even use. I think it's just more financially smart not to buy things that are on sale. It's just something that we've taught ourselves not to do and it really has benefited us because we've saved a lot of money from doing that. All right guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe got some inspiration. You can incorporate some of these things that you will no longer purchase in your home. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.